welcome to the Scholar Progenium. Today we've got another exciting bolt action battle report for you. It's going to be the Finns versus the Americans. Oh, and yeah. we're playing. <laughs> I'll just go with it, okay? It'll be good. Uh, and we're playing <laughs> Sabotage. Okay, so first up we've got the Finns. Uh, I've got a new list. Uh, I'm a little worried about it. Uh, I'm a bit uneasy, but we'll uh, we'll see how it works. I'm also confident in it, weirdly, at the same time. So it's going to be an, it should be an interesting uh, learning experience playing it. So first of all, just two squads of veteran sissies, eight men with rifles. I normally take three, uh, but today we're trying something a little different. Now, these guys, if you're not aware, they are veterans. They're all tough fighter, which is great, having rifles and tough fighter. They're master of the hunt, which is a Finnish special rule that only certain squads get, and it means that they can advance into ambush. Then I've got my trusty solo regular second lieutenant. Ne lieutenant never lieutenant. lets me down. Uh, watch him <laughs> let me down today. Uh, ne then we've got a third squad of veterans, We've got the Carcapuccios. Now I'm really feeling like I'm getting the hang of these guys. And it's why I'm not taking a third squad of veteran riflemen. These guys are also veterans. They're fanatics. They fight to the last man good. in close combat. Really good. Uh, they've all got rifles and SMGs. Uh, and they can outflank from any board edge. I still have to specify it uh, at the beginning of the game. But no surprises. It's usually the back, because that is a sick rule. <laughs> so yeah, they can come in from the back. Oh, and they're all medics as well. Yes. And they've just got everything. They're really expensive for five men. It's, I think, 120 points for five. It's very expensive for bolt action. It's very expensive for bolt action. Uh, then we've got two squads of regular Continuation War. Uh, they both have an LMG and a Panzerfaust. It may be two Panzerfausts. I have to double check. I'm pretty sure it's one. Um, then we ha go on to the support teams. We've got the trusty, regular, medium mortar with spotter. Can't go wrong with him. That's always great. We've got the veteran sniper. Now, uh, for Finns, this guy also has master of the hunt, so he can advance into ambush. Really useful. Uh, it means your opponent can't just like mortar them. Yeah, uh, yeah just... Just kind of sing them out of one spot, they'll at least move. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so nothing's available, you can just move. You can be really cunning with these guys. Um, then we've got a very trusty weapon. We've got the medium howitzer, uh, just regular, but it's got a gun shield. And then finally, we have the Stug 3 Sturmy. Uh, this guy has a heavy anti-tank gun and an MMG on the casement. And he, he he really he does good he does work he's I really good yeah Sam really uh, I, I has a bad time yeah, against this guy I love sometimes what he can do, but it's always against me so I hate him <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah so I'm I'm really loving the list um, I feel it's a little small on numbers for uh, for what you really need with the fins and I really feel the fins need an advantage on dice and I've only got ten and you know taking ten dice you're never gonna have the advantage so. It's uh, it's not like a straight down the middle list. It's a little bit here, a little bit there, but uh, I think it should work and we'll try it out. Uh, so we'll see what they're facing today. Okay, so now we've got Sam's Americans. Oh, now uh, you're using a bit of a different list as well today. I've never taken this list. It is entirely regular. Very. S screw your veteran thing. We're being regs the entire way. <laughs> <laughs> we've just come off the boat and we're happy to play. <laughs> so starting with the infantry squads, we have a unit of regular riflemen with a BAR. Uh, the next unit is exactly identical, eight men BAR. The next unit is another eight man unit with a BAR, but this one has an SMG on the sergeant. Ah, oh, very interesting. I have three points. <laughs> <laughs> then we have an engineer squad, also regular, with a flamethrower, two SMGs and a BAR on the squad as well. Okay, there, I didn't realize you're bringing some, some heat there. No pun intended. And then, I've gotten to your bad habit of taking a single second left. <laughs> yeah, I believe in it. Sam actually doesn't like I, doing it. But I don't believe in it, but it seems to work, so... <laughs> I <get> myself now. <laughs> uh, if you can't beat them during the exactly. situation. Yeah, okay, got you. Now, we've got a regular bazooka team, which I'm not happy about. I used to take them as veterans. Oh, I really want them. a veteran one. I, I hate taking a regular yeah. Panzer, uh, Panzer Shrek, but sometimes oh. they're so expensive to I take know, veterans. 
just worth it every time. Then we have an air spotter because I love bombing my own lines, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's classic. Really you got it. to, yeah. Then we got a sniper, also regular. It's like airing and this is regular. Regular sniper, man. Yep. This like, if you're going to take a sniper, you take a veteran. No, this entire this is regular. We've, right. just, we've just come off the boats. If you beat me in the sniper drill, I'll be very annoyed. <laughs> and then we got the Sherman, an M1A1 Sherman. So, no fin size in the sky, but it does easily catch fire. The top uh, pintle mount is an unmanned. It's not being used this game. What, uh, what brought you to using a Sherman because you don't often use I one. I do not use them. I don't like Shermans, uh, to be honest. They are, they are great. They're good, but I prefer the... You're just not a fan of them, are yeah, you? Yeah, there's no point trying to play a tank wars the US. You usually lose every time, so... Yeah, you're more of swarm, light, light vehicles, yeah. yeah. But, but uh, taking a Sherman, yeah, just trying them out. No thin sides, but sets fire. Yes. Okay, gosh, cool. Beautiful. And then the Greyhound, which I absolutely adore. He's got his, his pencil mount, his HMG. He's got a medium machine gun tucked away in there and a little light anti tank poker. You have got running this Greyhound down to a fine art, I, I have to do say. Like I guys. am starting to really have a bad relationship with this particular <laughs> I Greyhound. Think he's cute, look at him. <laughs> and then we have the Dodge truck. In, this is the three and three quarter tonner. It uh, holds 18 men. Wow. There's a medium machine gun on the top as well. And he's medium machine gun, not heavy? Not heavy. Medium okay, machine gun interesting. Well. And he is just a regular as well. And uh, that's light. Is Recky light anti-tank gun, heavy machine gun? He's eight armor as well, so... Does he have a medium machine gun as well? Yes, no. he's yes. got a medium, a heavy, a light anti-tank, and light armor, and Recky. But open-topped? Yes, of course. Everything is... Most of this is open-topped. The, the Sherman this time, yeah. yeah. Cool, okay. Right, well, it's a very interesting list, Sam. You've uh, made a few choices that, um, yeah, but it's a hopefully, like, it's the same for me. Yeah, hopefully, like the list the comes together. Yeah. It makes sense, but it it, uh, it strays from your tried and tested. Exactly. I like having loads of inventory. This is not loads. This is just regular stuff. This is just quite a lot. Yes. <laughs> this is a fair amount. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, we'll be back with the board and deployment. It is deploy out the bag, but we won't bore you with that. We'll be, we'll be back once we're all set up. You join us after deployment. We're all set up. Now, I must admit, the Americans um, had the bad luck on the draw. It'd be good if it was a real turn, because yep. you had loads of dice before me. Uh, but as it turned out, the, the, the I got to counter play. I did make a silly mistake, uh, and but it is what it is. We're both uh, a little afraid of each other's setup, which is a good sign. Uh, so we'll take you through the cover first, as usual. So we've got a road here, you know, uh, double movement for that, standard, standard. And if you see two trees together, such as these little areas here, then that is just light cover that you can move through, no worries. If you see more than two trees, like these three here, or these four here, then that is dense terrain. So that means that you can't see through it and you can't run through it, but it's just soft cover if you're in it and you can yes. shoot out of it and shoot into it at that point. Um, then we have two types of hill, the rocky hills, count as soft cover and difficult terrain. Yes. And the smoother hills, they are open ground, but we have a few copses of trees and bushes on them. So you have to be in those, the soft cover. It's a dash to the cover of the hill, basically. Um, in terms of setup, I'll take you through now. So the fins on their left flank have a nice view round the trees and up the American flank with their howitzer and their medium, more, well, medium mortar doesn't need to see, but they've got a little artillery set up over here. We've got two squads of sissy uh, taking the center. They can't be seen at the moment by the tank, but I am worried about having two squads of infantry facing off against the tank. However, I do have my stug placed back here. I had the advantage of uh, knowing where Sam Sherman was. He had to place it first. Um, so the Stug uh, is behind some dents at the moment, side on, but he's got a nice little uh, sh shot through this gap and he's defending my base. We'll get onto the bases in a second. Um, over here I've got an LMG squad. They've got a nice view down the road. They've got makes a soft, heavy cover. It's covering this flank. You know, I can maneuver them around as I see fit. I've got on my other flank, my mortar spotter, and he is looking basically down past the hills as far as he can. 
And then you can also see down between the gap here at my own base, if any infantry are getting close and I need a clutch shot. That's not likely to be an effective shot, but it get, keeps the option <laughs> open. Yeah, yes. And it happens if you do pull them off. Um, finally, uh, my sniper also had the benefit of knowing where Sam's sniper and artillery spotter was. He got bad luck on the, uh, the spotter draws as well. Here's what it is. So my sniper can see his artillery spotter past the dents. He can't be seen or see Sam's sniper squad over here. Now, in terms of other units that the Americans have, they've got a squad of GIs here, yep. backed up by the Greyhound and a truck yes. with what in? The truck has the engineer squad in it. Uh, unfortunately, I had to deploy it very early, so it was... Well, you deployed it as, last, as late as I, you I could, but I had that I was scared as a stug. A stug can't go on the road against a truck. Yeah, oh, the truck can't go on against the stoke, yeah, so... Uh, so yeah, he, he decides to deploy him safely behind Dad. So, he didn't know where the stug was going. Uh, and he decided not to go in reserve with them. No. Nope. I thought you might. No. Nah, just one of them. Fair enough. Uh, then he has another squad of GIs backed up by his officer and another squad of GIs. Yeah, brings on the ground, I'm just gonna walk forward. Indeed, okay. Advance and shoot, lads, advance and shoot. Now, he's got his bazooka squad covering the road, again, because he didn't know where my stug was going to be. You're starting to see a trend here that Sam really did get diddled by the deployment it dice. He's, yeah, he's, he's chill about it. He's played enough games of bolt action to know how, it, how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Uh, he's got his Sherman here, really covering a nice position. It's almost, it's gonna be difficult for me to get past these hills. Uh, it's going to be hard for both of us to get into each other's bases with the setup that we've got here. He's got another squad of GIs covering the base. Now, you'll see the bases are both sort of on the back edge of the board. You've got to be within 20 or tw you've got to be 20 inches away from the centre. And these bases are around, they're four inches wide, essentially. So they're perfect dimensions for our little bases. Oh, and I forgot I have one more. This is this was my boo-boo. Don't know why I put a squad in a building because my base happens to be in the building, uh, but I did. So I've got to, uh, got to get them out, out of Dodge as soon as I can. Um, but they, yeah, my LMG squad are covering the approach. I popped my base with a little bit of open terrain around it. Yeah. So the final push to it might be quite uh, hard to get through. It's going to be rough. And uh, Sam's... Uh, can I take in the opposite? He was going to take his bit of open, but it's next to a road and he was worried about the stug. Yeah. Uh, ultimately, I haven't gone down that route, but, you know, good decision. And he's got plenty of cover around his, which provides cover for defending troops. So, um, yeah, it's it's going to be an interesting one. You've got you've got an attacking setup and a defending setup, and I'm kind of um, a bit, you know, I'm pushing in the centre yeah, with, uh, with, with defence uh, artillery position on the flank. So in terms of winning the game, well, sabotage is a very interesting one. I like sabotage. I like sabotage. First of all, you get a lot of de deployment. You can deploy up to everything on the board. I have one unit of reserves, my car shows. That will get interesting in a second. Yes. Now, my base is here on the back edge. And if Sam ends the turn, or I end the, the or we both, when the yeah. turn ends, any given turn, even the second turn or whatever, uh, if you've got a unit that isn't an empty transport, so, any Both infantry, trucks. any vehicle, no empty truck, but a full truck works, mm -hmm. uh, in contact with the base at the end of that turn, you win the game. Yeah, that's it, just if straight, you, up. straight up, it's that simple. If you both have a unit in contact with the enemy base at the end of the turn, it is a draw. And it's that, it's that simple. Yeah. If at the end of six turns, there's no winner, you roll the dice, and four, five, or six, you have a seventh turn to try and sabotage the enemy base, if it still doesn't happen, that's the draw as well. But yeah, this is a really fun game like and it usually it has a winner. Win. Yeah, there's, it's rarely a draw, this one. It's a really good game. Um, so yeah, we're all set up. We're going to put the dice in the bag um, and we'll be back in a second when something gets interesting. So we're straight back with the grey dice and I'm going with my sniper first. I can draw a line past the dense terrain at Sam's artillery observer, his airstrike I'm coordinator. The <laughs> but the sh <laughs> yeah, it's finished snipers, eh? What can you do? Because uh, they'll just run away on, once miss, they get the shot. Miss, miss, so I need a three miss. and a four, is it? Come on. Yes. Oh, it's a two, no way. Okay, I hope to run another grey dice. So 
Sam's first red dice, and it's another interesting one. We have the Greyhound attacking the Howitzer. Yes. Now it is sixes to hit with everything. He's firing the MMG and the HMG. I just want to get up in. Okay. Yeah. So HMG, hit him on sixes. That's yeah, it. got it. Alright, red minus one. So it's four, uh, fours, because yep. I'm Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, the other one. Is there anyone special? That's a bit sad, actually, is it? No. no one's special. Okay. That's the pin. That's all I wanted. MMG. Nothing. Okay, but you got I'll a pin the kill. That's I'll really it. good. I'll take that. That's Next good. dice was grey, and I've done an urgent manoeuvre. I've advanced out of the building, and I'm going to take some shots at Sam's infantry squad here. I'm hoping I'm within 36. Four shots on sixes. Ah. Yes, we get one. And then a four. Yeah. Yeah. Sam's moving the Sherman. He decides to get it. Um, hopefully, so the stud can't see it. Or at least yeah. give him some soft cover because he was thinking he wasn't getting any. He's popping the Howitzer at the Sissy Squad, and he's firing the MMG. Yep, just a little front one. Uh, so four shots, five shots. Five shots at the him. at the sniper. So this is hit on sixes for the sniper. Okay, sixes for the sniper. One hit. Okay. Oh. Is it going to be anything? Nothing. Well, that's a pin. Okay. I'll take that. Um, and then I think, what are you hitting on? Hitting on these guys, we hit on fives. Just okay. mood, soft cover. I'm going to have to go down, and I never six. go down, but I think I've only got a couple of sisters. That's squads. perfect for me. Sixes followed by sixes. Oh, oh I'm glad chance. I went down. No chance. No. Yes. Oh, I just, I, I don't have the squads to mess around. <laughs> the Americans are getting quite the initiative advantage here, and they've got another dice. They're going to be firing the GIs. Advanced and shooting. Um, but they don't care about moving, yep. so it's a uh, five to hit with nine shots oh, on my other sister squad. I'm not going down. Good. All right, so three hits. Okay, that's pretty good. Any fives? One kill. I'll take that's it. it. <laughs> We're both happy. The Americans have called in an artillery strike on the howitzer position. Yes. Not what the Finns wanted to see. The bazooka are uh, going for a bold move. They're popping yeah. a shot at sixes followed by sixes, but he's doing it anyway yeah. on the sniper. Was, no matter what I do, it'll be sixes by sixes, no matter the target. So uh, he's well away from that stuck. Don't fancy a reposition? Not yet. Okay. Nope. No. <laughs> the howitzer is going to crank a shot out at the GIs as they advance towards the v central valley. Now we need to do a pin check. Come on, now one pin. All right. Yes, no, no, we fail it. Ah, yes, Stug life. I'm loving it. We have uh, advanced and rotated precisely 90 degrees. But because uh, of the slight swing you can get in the turret, I can pop this Sherman. And we it both looked at it. Happen. He's not even in soft cover. Right. I can see more than 50% of the vehicle. He did his best. Um, so we need a four here, Sam. Miss, 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 miss. Love that super head. Oh, did we measure range? It'll be range. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, that's a hit. Uh, just, I've got to double check because I think we're right on the nose of 36. I've tried to manoeuver, so I'm within 36, but over 30. You're over 36. Yeah, you are. Nice. What range? 30. 30. Nice. Okay. Shouldn't have inched forwards. I've given him the chance to shoot back at me at half range as well. So we've got to make this pen count. So it's uh, on your side. Yep. And it's pen six within half range. Whatever's Your like armor eight nine, eight. so eight. Mm -hmm. So we want that two to glance, or we want more, obviously. Yeah, two to glance. Yeah, uh, yes! Oh, you're yes! joking, mate. Okay, well, you still get pins. Yes. The American sniper is going to take a shot at my officer. I've sprinted him over here. I knew it was a gamble, but uh, I'm almost glad he's not shooting at the howitzer. All right. So, come on, lad. You got this. Yes, it is a hit, and you need a four. Oh, yes. curses, yes. a dice out of the bag, it didn't pay off. Finish Mortar's going to take a shot over onto the American base. Oh, need a six? Oh, no. Come on. Oh, no, we're not having it. Final manoeuvre of turn one, and the Americans, Sam, has sprinted the truck full of engineers nice. over the halfway mark just towards my base. He's going for an early rush. Now, we'll give you a little bit of a turn summary overall. As you can see, uh, most of the Finns are just advancing gradually or putting fire on the advancing Americans. However, I did sprint one foul squad slash LMG squad, one of my regular squads, up here. He's got cover from the wall there, a little exposed to the bazooka, 
but um, we've got a sniper covering them, and that just puts the pressure on the Sherman if he wants to run around this side. Um, my Finnish sissy squad advance into the dense terrain, and they just put an additional pin and kill on the centre. GI is taking them down to just six men and two pins, which is a nice, nice start yeah. on the centre squad. We saw this squad, they went down, which was yeah. really nice from one pin. And Can't then, we yeah, we're, we're onto the truck here. Now, we've got the dice in the bag, so technically it's, I guess, the start of turn two. Now, a couple of interesting things. First, Sam has his airstrike. Airstrike! And then secondly, his first of two, if I can't get rid of that air traffic controller. Now, the second significant thing is that I have my Kakapucho squad, and they can outflank, and, you know, it's no big secret, I'm going to come in from the rear. Yes. And what that means is that um, I can come straight towards Sam's base. Now, I can't just run straight into the base, but I can certainly run to right next to it and be touching it. So, uh, yeah, it's an interesting one. A lot of big things uh, in the early part of the game, I'm sure. So, um, yeah, do you want to roll your airstrike, Sam? Yes. Does it come in? So I'm looking for a one here, please, Sam. Give me a one. No, I'm looking for a new one. It's a bit six. Oh, uh, it does in, come though. in though, that's a what shame. What type of planes are going to be? It's a... Uh, oh, that's, that's a, a big one. shell, that's a four, I think. A four-incher. A four-incher, <laughs> four okay. Inch -er. Right, so we'll measure it up, but you might be able to clip one of our mortar crew, okay? So he can hit one mortar crew and the three remaining howitzer crew. It's a great first strike. He's coming in here, so he's also going to get an opportunity to put pins on. Is it the Stug as well? Yes, D3 the minus one pins, are more than six. Which is really nice. Okay, so let's uh, get some dice rolls. Right, are you so rolling the pins first or the kills? I am rolling to zoom. I don't shoot on my own aircraft. Oh, of course. So Friendly fire up, is a thing. Okay, so to so not so shoot your guy down. Yes. So I'm going to throw off the Greyhound and the truck. Get a one for me, please. Go on, truck. Yes, yep, the truck that's is, what I need. The truck shooting and the Greyhound is yes. also shooting. Oh, come on, please. Right, so, um, I, you need to get I need three hits to three destroy my fives, own aircraft. Three fives, isn't it? Destroy my own aircraft. Yeah. Okay, so Greyhound. Uh, yep, that's the one. one hit. Uh, so, if the truck could now kindly just get a couple of fives. And he he does it! He drives the plane no. out! The, the American's you bike. You uh, <laughs> Amazing. Beautiful. Excellent. The Greyhound. The truck was the guys who did it. Excellent. He's charged right into a defensive danger close, position. Danger close. Yeah, well, to be fair, you could, the plane is coming right near them. Yeah, you would. If you were on that 50, you'd think, he's coming for me. I've got to crack a few shots off there. Not, he's coming for the howitzer that's about to blow my truck up. But uh, oh, yeah, no, sweet, excellent worse. result. One be. airstrike dealt with. If we can just get a shot off with the sniper and deal with the airstrike threat. We'll be one step close to victory and driving these pig dog Americans from us. Right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, the Americans have had the first dice and yes. they've decided they had many options, but they're going to get out and their flamethrower and shoot this sissy squad. Now, I've considered going down because he's got a couple of SMGs and a lot of rifles uh, and he's going to be hitting on basically twos with everything, but I figured... If I go down, I'm staying up. He's got a flamethrower anyway. Yes. He's hitting me that with that. So, uh, yeah. Might as well stay up for Might as well stay up. See if I can survive. If by some chance I survive with low yeah. pins, then we're good to go. Let's choose some not blue dice. I don't trust the blues. All right. Orange, <laughs> orange or flame. He needs this, so superstition. So freeze. Come one, on. Get a one. It hits. Okay. Yes. How many does it hit? It's four. Oh. Okay. How many pins for the initial blast? Um, D6 pins, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Four pins as well. Okay. Okay. I know you have to check for terror, but do that at the end. Okay. All right, so that is three dead. Okay. One there fail. And then we've got SMGs, two SMGs, and a rifle in point blank, so they hit on twos. Nice. It's not going well for the fins. Reading on fives. Two wins, anyone special? No. No. So that's five, five gone, dead five in total, so three far. remaining. Okay. And we've got two rifles and a BAR at the back, hit on threes. Okay, two hits. Come on, lads. Nothing. Okay, right, so we'll just double check the flamethrower rules and work out how I'm running away and so on and so forth. Okay, so it's D3 plus one pins. I've got that wrong, Yeah, bad. so that's uh, three pins in total. Now we've double checked the sequencing and because I've lost five guys, 
I will go down to um, less than half a squad and you get you do the fear check after, after casualties the regardless of how many have been wiped. Um, so I'm going to do that fear check now. So I'm needing um, an eight. Yeah, I'm an 11, yeah. Yeah, cool. needing an eight. And we pull it off. Damn. They're still alive. Awesome. Okay. Now I'm going to try and remove some guys cheekily so I can shoot you with my stuck. Sherman's going to pop a shot through these trees at the stuck. Yes, now he is in soft cover just because he's a uh, lower profile than the Sherman. Yes. I am mean, going to have to move him because I don't want to get any pants about range. But let's see if he actually activates. Needing an oh, eight. Oh, I want oh, this oh. to fail. Yes, oh, he gets yes. it. <laughs> I'll take that. All right. So we'll be so back in himself in these trees. He's shooting over the bush, over the sissy, into the stug who's snuggled away there. So we're needing a, it's moved and soft cover. Yes. So it's a five. And the LMD is gonna go onto this one in front as well. Okay. Right, so five, come on. Yes. Oh, I can't believe you pull on this I'm one. I'm definitely hitting on the front, so that's good. Sure. <laughs> right, so um, only medium, it's only plus seven. Okay. No. no, yes, oh, okay, we both pin. bounced a shot of each other, it's getting very interesting, um, I'm enjoying this duel, I thought, I thought you were going to, I was going to bounce the first shot and you're going to pop me then. I'm five shots going on these guys with fives. Okay, fives, uh, I'm not going down. Okay. One. One hit. Take the pin. Take the pin. And, and a kill, kill. nice, okay. That. Now I'm going to take a shot with the howitzer at the American truck. Now the reason I'm going for the truck over the infantry is because it's a three either way if I pass my pin check, which I need to do. Um, but I would have to get the whole template over the infantry squad. You have to hit cover as many as you want, as you can. Um, but if I hit the truck, I only have to touch it and I can still yeah. place part of the template over the infantry, squ infantry squad and do some damage yeah. if I can get the hit. So that's the, that's the tactic. Let's see if we can pull it off. Pin check. Um, pin check. Go down. Please don't. Oh, we passed it. Right, okay. So now we need a three. Uh, yes, that's a six. Okay, let's measure the side of the truck. It's a three to glance. And we get a pen. Um, watch the result. And it's uh, immobilized. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, is it? Uh, yes, yeah, pen. It's immobilized. Uh, brilliant. And D3 pins. And D three pins. Now we wanted that because I we, was wanting to ferry trip. Yeah, he was gonna. He was the, the, that wasn't his first. That was his his uh, softening up attack. So three pins as well. Three Jeez. pins, nice. Uh, so now he can't grab other units and shove them towards my base in the truck. That's a really nice result. And we've got four hits on his regulars, so this is killing on twos. Yeah, some ones. And, no, no ones. <laughs> and we've got an exceptional there. And uh, no. So there's a lot of choices for exception. Okay, you've got to do a leadership check there, Sam, because you've I lost do. half the uh -huh. unit. Roll me some pins, please. Roll me D3 pins. D3 pins. Uh, do you, I don't believe you take pins if you're just hit by the by the blast. I think okay. you'll be targeted. So, Good shot. on a base leadership, which is still regular, they stay. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, would have been fine. Whatever happens, whatever that rule is. So we're going for a heroic shot with the Faust. We've advanced our regular squad up the road. He's about 11 and a half inches away from the tank in the open. Nice, big, tall Sherman. It's really easy to see. <laughs> um, and then we're going to spray the LMG and a couple of rifles at the bazooka squad. Okay, so Faust first. We need a five. There's some alliteration for you. Come on. Give me that five. <gasps> No, oh, <laughs> right. Faust is gone. Oh. Good. That <laughs> you clenched there, yeah. were you? Okay, right. and then we've got four shots. Uh, this is moved hard cover. No, the wrong one. Once all the uh, sixes. The, no, the four rifles. The rifle. They're all going to be saying small target. Moved. Ah, yes, of course, small target. Uh, no. <laughs> Never mind. We're going for a run order if we can on this sissy squad. Uh, I've got so many pins on me that, uh, you know, I don't think shooting at them's worth it and I want to clear that flamethrower off. You can't yes. overwatch me or anything I mean, like that. I should take out the truck at the end of the turn. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Okay, they pass, uh, do they, seven, three pins? Yes, oh, they're on the leadership, 11. Yeah. yeah, they're absolutely fine. Oh, God, this is gonna hurt. Right, so, well, maybe not. I've I only got three initial attacks. Watch. So it's three attacks with the fins. 
It's going to be a fours and tough fight. Come on, lads. So it's two, two kills, kills uh -oh. and you're not defending, are you? Nope. So, wipe them. It yes, we've just done it. Them. Just wipe some, right clears the pins, and we'll advance hopefully D6 towards that truck. Yes, yes. nice. Six Let's inches. Go behind the American sniper's going to take a shot. He's elect to try and finish off the last Horitzer crew member. So, um, no leadership check needs or anything like nope. that. So come on, lad. Get our dice out the back. It's a hit, and needing a. You have no gun shields, don't you? Yeah, you're a vet now. Oh, I am. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> so the trunk's panicking, seeing that heroic sissy charge where they basically charged down a flamethrower that had just lit them up. And he's uh, just foobard. And uh, so Sam's got to roll a dice, hopefully gets a one or a two. As I have a unit within 12 inches, he'll have to shoot the nearest one of his own units. He's my sniper. He, don't, he panics. Uh, he must do a run order, but he can't do that now. That's a shame. Sound. Never mind. Okay, so mortar squad time. We need a five. We're trying to pop uh, the squad in the building. Please, I've still got my carcapuchos off and I'm holding yes. off on them. And I've got nothing to defend them with. Well, you need to put some stuff on ambush, but you should have put that tank in ambush. But okay. then, Lesson you, if you've been shot by the Stug and wrecked, then you wouldn't be ambushing anything anyway. So, you know, it's one of those. Uh, right. Well, I might not even get my carcapuchos in. I really hope you don't. Um, but for now, we are firing the mortar and we need a five. And we don't Ooh. get it. We've had a couple of dice. Sam's just passed his order check on his GIs down here. Now, I have previously moved these guys into ambush on top of this rock. So I think we're probably over half range. So it's over half range, but instead of the reason why I put them on ambush is because, of plus course, it's plus one to shoot, which gets rid of my pin. And I would have been moved in a pin. Yeah. Now I'm stationary, shooting from ambush, which gives me plus one because of my fin. So it's uh, it's just over half range. So um, over I'll, half range, so Are you moving into this? I'm going that way around. You're going that way, so I'll, you'll always be in the soft. Well, Need one extra. It's three hits, four hits. Nice, four hits. Uh -oh. And then um, it's forced to kill. Ah, oh, three kills. Got there? Three kills. Any specialists? Is it two sixes I got there? No, just one. Just one. Oh, yes, yes, there is. I will kill what we got. A beer out of the sergeant. I'll take your. How many did I kill? Four. Yeah. I'll take your sergeant. Try and make you fail the leadership. Damn, it will work as well. <laughs> so how many pins you on now? Two. Oh, Two no. pins and no lost, sergeant. Lost three guys. So I put you on a six, right? Two, three. That puts me on three men left. I just 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 lost half the squad. So I, I worth your check. Nice. I'll do it now. Okay, so... Um, uh, do I have to do... I know I have to do it after the run, so the officer will not give me the advantage here. So I have to finish my order first. You sure? Yes. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, because you'll have moved. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they fail, they, they flee. They fail it, they flee. What a volley. Whoa. The fins, I'll That's tell you what, out. I was it's scared when that airstrike was coming in, but this has been a great turn for the fins. They're running over to the truck thinking it's a safe haven to turn just up. It's just shot up hard. by There's fins. Fire everywhere. There's so. fins hiding in the rocks, man. They're hiding in the bushes and the hills and the trees. You've got, got sent to relieve an engineering squad and they're already dead. So these guys panic and just leg it. Oh my gosh, just that's two it. squads fleeing. That's good because you, you had a two dice advantage. Now it's even yes. Stevens. Now we're going with the Stokes, popping a shot at the Sherman. He's, um, I think, not in soft cover there. From, yeah, that bush is just covering up his tracks and a little bit. Yes, um, shooting upwards, I'm aiming downwards. Now, yeah, now it's just the benefit of having a stub. Now I would like to move into optimal range, which is over 30 inches, but we're in the duel now. It is what it is. I've got to pass a pin. Oh, Oh, no, he fails it. I it need stuns I really need a oh, yeah. I've previously advanced into ambush with my sniper, putting me in sniper range uh, of Sam. So it's tempting to hold off and try and get that four up. But he's just run his bazooka here. It is a dice. And, uh, uh, you know, Why I can not? shoot him. Why not? It's a three to hit. So um, two it's two a two hit. shooting yeah. a rifle from uh -oh. ambush. Shot. Yes! Oh, of course. Oh. Of course, you're banging on by the skin of your teeth there, Sam. There's an even match. So we're in a Mexican standoff, so to speak. We're on one dice each. We've been holding off on two essentially. And Sam's been holding off on his Greyhound. He can probably run to here. I have got a Panzerfaust on ambush here. Um, but, you know, he could, he could pull off a, uh, a destruction there. 
I have my Carcapucho squad. I have to roll leadership on them. But if I do, I can bring them on either side of this building. Just hold it. And just, just hold it. it. Uh, so it's uh, it's an interesting one. Uh, Sam, do you want to pull that last dice? It's a red. It's a red I'll first see if I can make it. What are you going to do? You're going to see. You're going to go for a run. I've got to. You've got to. You're going to gamble on me. Not I'm going to declare a run, and I don't think I'm even 24. Right? I feel like I need to check the outflank rules. I am not, so I won't be able to reach it anyway. Okay. Well, you've got the run now. Yep. <laughs> uh, right, we'll be back in a sec. Right, so the Greyhound has whizzed down here. He's managed to avoid the Panzerfaust range, but I can get a burst off with the LMGs and rifles from this defending squad here. Uh, that means he was just out of range of getting to my base. So it's going to be four shots hitting on fours, uh, th threes, threes. and ones. that's it. So that's the pin I need. Dark I need a nine here. So I'm praying I come on. They're on. Oh, it was almost right. They're on. Uh, he does have an ambush set up against me uh, and he is in just a little ruined building. So he'll be able to shoot everyone. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so the Carcapucho have finished their ski trip, their Langlauf, one might say, and they've decided to uh, come on, of course, sabotaging the building. Now, Sam has Overwatch here. Um, he's got two guys shooting me point blank. Nothing. Nothing, just twos. The other ones are going from hard cover. The other ones are hard cover, so that'll be fours. fours. Uh, so he could do some damage here. If he doesn't, then I'm going to kill the Air Observer, hopefully, with I'm, my SMGs. I'm yeah, and, well, I'm winning the game, so it doesn't even matter. All right, so hit on two, so these guys, of course, one hit. Yes. Does he kill anyone? He does. He does. does. Well, I'm you dead. Have a med you, you have a med roll, yeah. yeah. All right, fours. Fours. It's a healthy roll. Okay. Good. I need a lot of fives here, Sam. None. None. Oh, okay. That's it. Right, well, I mean, that's it. That's it it what it is. That's the game. That's sabotage. Yeah, that's sometimes sabotage. it's quick, sometimes Shit. it's long. Whoa. I mean, it's a... <laughs> GG man, GG. but I mean the Finns they just seem that we, we checked and double triple checked the rules because it seems so OP that the Finns can just, win sabotage with a car computer just no like that. Because there's no way you not have it on the back line. But, the well, you, no, you can have it, yeah, but the, yeah, exactly, because yeah. it's got to be 20 inches away from the centre, so you can't have it like in the middle. Of a, of a table quarter or something to stay safe from the back. You just, just you just have to kind of play with them. You just thought you should, should have just had a sh ton of stuff and ambush there, yeah. ready to go. But once um, you have stuff on ambush, you're not using the rest of your army to do the other missions. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's difficult. But you can't use your entire army to do it. It's, it's, the fins are really, we didn't even sort of, I just I checked it and that's, that's it. That's it is what it is, that's sabotage. You know, if you get to the base, Sabotage does often finish with a rush from a vehicle or something yeah. like that. I just got lucky that I managed to immobilize yours. And uh, I yeah, mean, you were playing for a slightly longer game. Yeah, my biggest mistake was I should have just put two squads in that truck. Yeah, it, it can yeah. fit, it can Popped fit. Popped one too. out and then I run one over here. Just yeah. run the entire vehicle, just run it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. I mean, but you were playing a sensible game. Yeah. Uh, that's but, we just got to let you be. That's yeah, good. that's true, that's but true. They get the, they won a game. They won a game. So, they, you know, when you know you, the thing is, when I was looking into collecting fins, there's not that much information out there. That's why I'm, you know, on this campaign to put a load of fin content out there. But, um, but you know, a lot of people, Maybe. the few comments I had, they talked smack about the Carcutra, said they're not worth it. I know a guy who plays fins as well. He says he doesn't like the Carcutra. But for me, they're, they're great. To be fair, they Against three games I played them, they've been clutch unit. Yeah, they this time they've won a game. For occasionally, you. they have to march up the board, but that's why you pay a point to modern to give them rifles. And it's just a five man rifle veteran squad, and eventually they'll start kicking ass. I think there's only one game I played against them where they haven't actually been that useful. They usually come on. They, and every, they, they usually, may they not get their points back, but bot action isn't about getting your points back. It's no, about getting it's dice good. back, and they yeah. can easily pick up a couple of dice before they get disappeared. So you could easily go one, two. Possibly even three, because they're good enough to do so. And I mean, bolt action is not always just a straight up battle. You've got so many missions. And if you've been on, you know, this, we've played through 11 of the 12 missions yeah. in a row since uh, the start of 2023. Um, so go check those out if you haven't seen them already. But if you've been on that journey with us from the beginning, I know a few of you have, and absolute shout out to you guys. Really appreciate the comments and support and the likes and so on and so forth, the views. Um, but yeah, I think... There's so many tricksy missions where there's, you know, it's you not just a straight up battle. 
And the Kaka Poop Show, they love playing to that. I think it's in one where it's a straight battle, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, you've always got something going on. And uh, the Kaka Poop Show can exploit that because it just gives your opponent, they can't, they have to manage winning the objective, the whatever random deployment or attack and defender or situations thrust upon them in the rules. And then, uh, and then the Kaka Poop Show are there. Guys, what they do? I mean, I'm not in a. I'm in a pretty good defensive position myself, with a good, a good chance of assaulting. But as you say, it's the unit. Yeah, you don't, that's you it. Know. Your infantry Americans just I, yeah, are I would, almost I would unbeatable. Must, I'd hundred percent trade them in for more infantry in another. Right. Well, it was a quick game, so let's see if we can fit another bar report. So we'll call it there, guys. But I hope you found this interesting. Hope you found it entertaining. Thank you very much for your time. Goodbye. <laughs>